Hi, my name is Tim Zaman, and as you can see, one hour ago, I released a giant balloon filled with helium. Let's first watch what happens. We first let it go a bit. It has a lift of three kilos, and the payload is approximately one kilo. So by that difference, it starts floating, and there it goes. And right now, it's at an altitude of approximately 20 kilometers. It's carrying a small computer, uh, and with that are some sensors, a GPS, a camera. And as I speak, it's taking hundreds of images from our stratosphere. And it rates those pictures, selects the best ones, and sends those over live, which you can see here. This should be refreshing, though. But 15 minutes ago, we lost the transmission. Probably the, the pressure in the chips got too big, which is which is weird because there is almost no pressure. Because up there right now, it's minus 50 degrees. It's got London and Paris and Berlin at its horizon, and it's still rising. But at the moment, we don't know where it is, and we might regain the connection, but uh, let's see. This is the, these are the contents of the payload, by the way. And this is not my first high-altitude balloon project. Last year, I took a photograph that included the whole of Friesland and some of the islands. This project actually ended in the middle of the Isomere. It shouldn't have, of course, but it, it still it did. And, uh, well, it was no problem for me because I got myself a boat and we fished it out. You can see it floating right there. And, but I have to admit, I, I'm not the first one to do a project like this. So I'm not original at all. A project like this is also not commercially viable. This project alone has cost me about 200 euros. And if you leave out the live image transmission, not that it works at the moment, but if you leave it out, a project like this is amazingly simple. It's just a balloon with a camera. But the biggest obstacle in a project like this is working it out. It takes weeks of preparation, and it will only work if and only if every single component works in the end, and if you eventually find it back, because there's no way in testing this, of course. But before that time, trust me, no one will understand what you're working on and no one will get your point. And in my case, this was especially true because there was no point. <laughs> but yeah, you're clapping, but for some that can be a fundamental problem. What? One month ago, I spoke to a professor and I told him I was excited to present here to you at TEDx Delft, and he said he didn't understand the point. He didn't see the point in talking about something that was pointless. But well, here was mine. I liked working on it. I started with a small microchip, and through some kind of serendipity, I found myself working on a near space, high altitude balloon project. And I have no specific interest in either near space, high altitudes, or balloons. <laughs> And, and at first, my project did not find much support, but luckily, I was stubborn enough to push on by myself and work it out. And no project is complete without exposure, so I decided to put everything on a website. For this project, I made a website, which is www.timzaman.com or .nl, what, .com, but whatever you want. And I put all the source code, all the designs, all the wiring diagrams, of course, all the images, the videos, and the stories on there. And then the visitors came, and suddenly everyone was inspired, and suddenly everybody liked it. So much, in fact, that when I looked at my website statistics last weekend, I filtered for internet service providers, and every university has their own internet service provider, and I found out that 630 different universities had visited this website and looked at my project, just the High Altitude Space Balloon Project, and among them were the top 50 universities of the world. And still, I did not achieve my goal, because there were no goals. <laughs> so I'm trying to show you right here, right now, that you do not need to set any goals for yourself. But <laughs> <laughs> But if you do something with passion, you can still achieve a lot, like presenting here to you at TEDx Delft. Thank you very much. <laughs>